Hey guys, I'm Dashed Cats and welcome to the 2018 Reality TV Awards. Today I'm going to be crowning some queens, some kings, giving out the awards that they deserve. As a reality super fan and YouTuber, I post all the time about reality TV, so make sure you hit subscribe down below, click that bell to get notifications, and follow me across social media at Dash Cats. The first award is Best Host. In a world full of nines, be a ten. Think of the dirtiest player that you can think of. Each of them has a chance to plead their case to the members of the jury. The winner will receive $500,000 and the runner-up, $50,000. Travis Spoken. Thank you, Joe. The winner of... Arissa Cox, you are the queen of all queens. I bow to thee and we truly do not deserve you. Arissa is the host of Big Brother Canada and she is truly an icon. Arissa's passion for Big Brother, it really comes through. I love you, Arissa, and you are the best host of 2018. Find the best version of yourself and be that. The next category is Funniest of 2018. Kennedy's Davenport. Miss Kennedy! You are so hilarious. Like, you gave us such iconic moments in All Stars 3 from, girl, they gon' meme me your ass to death to, well, fuck my drag, right? Like, literally, I'm pretty sure I say, well, fuck my drag, right? Like, multiple times a day. So, you deserve this award. Love you, Kennedy. Fuck my drag, right? The next category is the best strategist. Paris, you done did the damn thing. Her social game was amazing and her strategic game was very, very impressive. Girl, your strategy had my brain sizzling because you played hard as all f From day one, I was like, this girl's going to win. You're the first POC winner of BB Can ever. You should be very proud of yourself and you're not only a deserving winner of Big Brother Canada 6, but you're also now a winner at the Reality TV Awards 2018. I think it's time an all-female final two, so I choose to evict you, Derek, and I'm so sorry. Thank you, Paris. Next up is Miss Congeniality. This award is going to go to somebody who was always kind and stood up for some kind of positive message or change. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Christiana, what a robbed goddess, and what a kind soul. I couldn't think of a better person to give Miss Congeniality to. You absolutely slayed top model. I'm shocked you didn't win. You broke boundaries when it came to your age. You broke boundaries when it came to your size, because you're a plus-size model, and you own your curve. All bodies are beautiful, and you taught America that. And you also opened up about being molested as a child and being a survivor, which was so incredibly brave and so incredibly inspiring. Thank you for your bravery, and and I love you. <laughs> I'm learning my bitch face. Oh. <laughs> Look at me and call me a bitch. 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 The next category is best winner. Courtney Act, yes, the Courtney Act, runner-up of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 6, won Celebrity Big Brother UK this year. Courtney, you're out here breaking boundaries. Usually in the UK, the ones who are deemed the weirdos, 
people who don't normally fit the norm of what society wants you to be in this little box, they get kicked out early. But the fact is, Courtney went in there and she bossed up. She educated the UK and the world about gender non-conforming people, fluidity when it comes to gender, the LGBT community. She set up for so many different important issues and she really made the most out of her platform and she ended up winning the show. I couldn't be more proud and more in awe of Courtney Act. I love you, Courtney. Congratulations. I guess coming to the house, this is validation that it's okay to be different. And Absolutely. We're a unicorn yes. side pony. The next category is the best villain of 2018. Natalie, of course you won this category, girl. You were the best villain we've had in years, a survivor goddess villain. Natalie doesn't give up her jacket for nobody, and my mom is shaking in her boots right now, because if you saw my Survivor 37 review, my mom is not a fan of Natalie, but I am, and I loved your villainous ways, and I cannot wait for you to return to Survivor again. You talked that brother-sister love stuff, and you showed me no love. So that stinging sensation you feel in your eyes right now, that's a Natalie Napalm. Get off of my island. The next category is the most beautiful. Natalie is obviously a sexy Latina gorgeous goddess on the outside, but the truth is her beauty is more than that. It's on the inside too. Girl, she is beauty inside and out. If you didn't know, me and Natalie collaborated. We did a video for her YouTube channel and a video for mine. You guys should totally check out those videos in the link below. Natalie, you are the most beautiful of 2018. I love you and congratulations. So focused on winning this challenge that I don't care if they burn my feet or blister or burn through my feet, I'm gonna continue walking. The next category is the most improved. Aja the Queen Haney. Aja, you know I love you. She has literally worked her punani off. She has stepped her punani up, up, up. Level up, level up, level up. I am so proud of Aja. She is absolutely killing the game and she was an icon on All Stars 3 and I'm so happy that America kind of changed their tune about Aja because y'all really tried it with season nine. Okay. But now y'all see the legend that I see, and can we just talk about that jump off the box? Like, come on, icon. I'm that bitch. The next up is the baddest of 2018, and this category is a bad with three Ds. <laughs> Davon, Slavon, Mama Soleil, girl, you are everything and more. You absolutely slayed your rookie season and you let them know why you're called Slavon. Anybody who tried it, you quickly let them know that you were not the one, two, or three. You are the baddest queen in the game and I love you. Tea starts boiling every damn where. I mean, I didn't have enough cups for all of this that was going on. And I'm sitting there looking at Jose and I'm like, mm, let him fight. Next up is the robbed queen of 2018. This is a big one.
Hallelujah, ladies. She was robbed. <laughs> That was corny. As some of y'all know from my All Stars 3 reviews, I was so Team Shangela. I was rooting for her. I really feel like she deserved it. And I feel like most people feel like Shangela was robbed by a bitter jury. But I'm not bitter or anything. Shangela, you are the robbed queen of 2018. As much as I love everybody who was nominated, it was a clear decision because everybody knows Shangela was robbed. Not everybody. Some people are delusional Trixie stands, But... All of Woke America knows Shanti was robbed. I love you. I'll see you in All Star 17 where you finally win. Thank you. The way Rue's looking at me is like, look at my daughter. That's my child up there. And that makes me really, like, really, really proud. Next up is the Gone Too Soon Award. Somebody who was also robbed, but they went home in the first half of their season. <laughs> Blair, you were my absolute favorite from season 10, and you're my sister and mom's favorite too. You are so elegant, you are so beautiful, you are so kind, congenial, talented, and you're brave as hell. You open up about your story about being a sexual assault survivor, and I couldn't be more proud and inspired by you. You are such a go-getter, and you're so brave at such a young age. I love you, and you were totally robbed. I wanted to see you the full season long. Next up is the Rookie of the Year. Miss Killa Cam. Girl, you are everything. I loved you from Are You The One, and you were made for the challenge. Your mind is just so powerful. Like, not only that, but your brawn is powerful, too. I wouldn't want to go against you in an elimination. I think it's just a matter of time before you are a challenge queen with a crown to prove it as a winner. But until then, you are the winner of Rookie of the Year on the Dash Cat Show, Reality TV Awards 2018. Oh my god, girl, the cheese, the cheese, the cheese of it all, honey. Love you, Cam. Thank you, next. Killer Cam, where you at, girl? Come out one more time. So the next up is the fan favorite. And this award was decided by you. So for the first time ever, I put up on my Instagram, who do you want to win fan favorite 2018? All right, let's see these noms. Miss Haley, Miss Haley, Miss Haley, Miss Haley. Go Haley, go Haley, go Haley, go Haley, go. Girl, I actually got a mass ton of votes for this because Rockstar, Queen Rockstar, love you, retweeted this. Haley had a mad vote. It's like, Haley really did that. The fans love you. America loves you. I still think you should have won America's Favorite Player. Personally, I voted for you every day, so... I got you. So congratulations, Haley. You are the fan fave of 2018. Crown it. Hi, Haley. Hi, Julie. You look iconic. The next award is the best duo slash group.
Oh my god, I am buzz, 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 a hive stan. Give me some honey, honey tea. I was rooting for you all summer, and lord, was it stressful being a hive stan every damn week. By the way, I'm including Swaggy in this because I feel like he still is, like, in the hive. I love everybody in the hive. You guys are all icons, but y'all were a hot-ass mess at this game. There was so much potential, but there was so much mistrust within the group, but still the group couldn't be more dysfunctionally iconic. It was so fun to watch, and as painful as it was being a hive stand since you guys kept screwing each other over it was a very fun roller coaster to go on and i haven't had an alliance that was so rootable in big brother in a really long time real cute so next up is the best reality moment of 2018 you're a liar you're a liar. game yeah. you bitch because i'm not even talking to you Disgusting. Disgusting. I can't believe on my daughter's birthday that you would drag my name through the mud like this. You're, you are disgusting. Do you understand? So that's cute. That's real cute. That's cute. That's cute. Real cute. When it was time to prove myself, I did just that. I won the two most important HOHs of the season, and I brought myself here to the final two. TJ, all those things you said about all the other partners is true, but this guy's belittled me, put me down, slut shamed oh me, gosh. and also threatened my life and my family's life. I'm keeping the money. Oh my God. Natalie, is there any way I could have your jacket? <laughs> Natalie? Natalie? The tribe has spoken. Thank you, Jeff. Natalie? Time for you to go. Thank you. Nothing. I'm keeping the money. I mean, all of these moments are iconic, but Ashley snatched my edges, my eyebrows, my eyelashes. I was completely bald all over my body because she fully snapped. Was I a fan of when Johnny snatched her from Sarah? Absolutely not. But that's because I love Sarah and I don't like Johnny. But was I a fan of Ashley snatching from Hunter? Yes, absolutely I was. I love me some MTV Ashley Brooke. Except when she's coming for my girls Natalie and Davon. So like, please back off them, Ash. Love you, girl, but like, come on. I feel like Ashley's an iconic villain. And Hunter, the way he treated her this season was not okay. It was not cool. I was really liking Hunter. I even nominated Hunter for Most Improved last year because I was really starting to like him. But that went out the window when he threatened Ashley's family and slut-shamed her. And I love that she snatched the money and stood up against slut-shaming in the process. It was iconic. I was absolutely fully gooped and gagged and shook and shaking. Queen of being a million dollars richer and being the richest uh, challenger in challenge history. I know it's a very controversial move and I understand why people get upset about, oh, it was a team game, but at the same time, she didn't make the rules. The rule was whoever had the fastest time out of the two partners could steal the money and she played by the rules and sold the money. She snatched the money and she snatched my wig in the process. If you've ever been slut shamed, put down, threatened, you don't have to deal with that. You can pack up your and you can take your money and you can go. And for our final award, what is the best season of 2018? If y'all do not watch Drag Race, I promise you, you are missing out on quality reality television. Drag Race has the drama, the entertainment, and the talent, and the comedy. And season 10 is a very, very strong season with a strong cast, strong lip sync, strong challenges, strong personalities, some juicy fights. It has everything you want in a reality show. So if you haven't watched it, go watch season 10 of Drag Race. I saw it and I was like, oh, brown cow, stop.
stunning. <laughs> Congratulations to all the winners and all the nominees. If you made it on this nominees list, you're iconic. So if you won, like you're like a super duper icon. I would love if you guys would comment below and um, say who you would want to win each category. That would be really cool and I'll totally respond back to your comment if you do so. And also be sure to subscribe down below and support my channel. You can click the little bell and that'll notify you when I post new videos. And to keep up with me, just follow me on at Dash Cats across all social media. Thank you so much for tuning in and you are fabulous and let's make 2019 the best year of our lives thus far. I am manifesting that for myself and I'm manifesting that for you watching this right now. All right. Love you guys. Thank you.